Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of WinLater Fork known as WinLater C Mode 7.1.3 Glipsy version. Now, this is supposedly one of the best fork versions of WinLater Android out there because it has features such as big picture screen, gamepad configurator, lot of DX wrappers, turnip drivers, box 64 version, screen effects, importing and exporting containers, and many more customization done to it, which makes it really amazing to use. And in today's video, we'll be setting it up. Now, as WinLater C Mode uses Glipsy version. It means that the performance will be amazing and today we'll be trying out the version 11 of WinLater C mod and it is available on its official github page. So let's just go ahead and start setting up the WinLater Glyph C C mod. I'll just go ahead and tap on the allow button. Afterwards, we'll need to wait until the setup is completed. And if this video reaches 200 likes, I'll be testing out this simulator on my low-end Android devices with MediaTek processor as well as Snapdragon processor. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. And here we go guys, the setup is completed. First thing which you'll notice is this brand new icon at the top right corner of containers which means that if you tap here you will be able to now import custom containers from other devices similarly once you create a container you will also get an option to export container nonetheless we'll just go ahead and tap on cancel because i don't really have any containers to import we also get a screen picture option which is present right here and you will be able to notice we have a win later animated live wallpaper with graphics driver turnip driver version dx wrapper and dxvk configuration before we try this out we'll need to create our container and we also also get settings for example if you want to add background music etc so yeah this is definitely a cool feature this is what i like about folk versions with a lot of customization and new features nonetheless we'll just go ahead and open settings afterwards select the box 64 version as the latest 0.32 afterwards select the preset as performance We'll just go ahead and duplicate the performance preset and set the safe flags level to 0 for best amount of performance possible. Now here you'll also be able to enable big picture mode which I just showed you guys on app launch. I don't really recommend it to you guys but dark mode theme has also been added which is another feature that's pretty impressive just take a look at this dark mode has been successfully enabled. Now gyro settings have also been provided if you want to use gyroscope to control games that is also very useful feature so a lot of features are present in the winlater c mode. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and tap on the tick mark option and create a new container now i am instantly able to notice some changes in the new container ui it looks pretty cool now anyways i'll tap on the screen resolution and it looks like uh, there are some new screen resolutions which have been added but we'll go with our default 854 by 480p resolution in terms of wine version we are using the wine 9.2 custom now if we try to change graphic driver it is saying that please save this container before attempting to change the driver version which is a bit weird i'll just go ahead and tap on the tick mark button and save our container first now let's go ahead and see if we can modify the graphics driver and yeah surely enough we can modify it we also get the latest 24.3.08 uh, turnip driver which we'll be using for today's video and in terms of dxvk configuration just take a look at how many dx wrappers the developer has added very useful to be honest i'll be going with the latest 2.4.1 afterwards we'll tap on the ok button audio driver let it be set as pulse audio enable show fps and enable full screen option has been added oh my god this is such a lifesaver feature because every time you open a container in winlater android you got a swipe back then enable full screen every single time it's such a headache but the developer has implemented it right here it saves so much time and I'm very happy with this feature. In terms of video memory size, we'll set it to 4 GB. Once that has been done, we'll go to the advanced section and here make sure to choose the performance preset that you just created. Uh, startup selection is aggressive. X input has been enabled so the controller support is present. Once everything has been set up, you can simply press on this play button to start your WinLater Android container. Now later on, we'll be testing out some games in this emulator like the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero so be sure to watch the video till the end. And once the container has opened, we can simply tap on the start button and you will be able to notice there are a lot more settings that are present here. For example, if you are using Mali GPU Android device, you can use D3D. Anyways, we get some 3D test as well along with that. Sound patches, runtime libraries such as the physics, DirectX, VC runtime which is very useful to be honest. Let me just go ahead and set it up as it is required for the game that we'll be trying out in today's video. You also get the option to directly start input bridge. Anyways, we'll just go to system tools and make sure to set the Windows version as Windows 10. By default, it is set to Windows 7. 
uh, but if you want to emulate some new games like I'll be doing in today's video. Once that has been done, let me just go ahead and load up Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on my Android device. Before we start playing the game, let me show you how theme screen of Winlater C mode actually work. It needs shortcuts. For example, I have created a shortcut right here. Now the developer has not created a cover art for all the games, so unfortunately it's not available. But if you add games like GTA 5 etc, the cover art for it will appear here. And if you want to play a game, you can simply tap on it, then tap on the play button, it will directly start. Because this uses the shortcut feature which is present right here. So let's start playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'll just tap on the play button. You can even pair your PS5 controller with the Winlater Glipsy C mode as you'll be able to see our game has successfully started. I'll just go ahead and swipe back and here we get the gamepad configurator. You can use this feature if you are connected to an controller. We also get input controls. Let's just go ahead and check it out. You only get two input controls, RTS and virtual gamepad. Touchscreen timeout has been provided along with touchscreen haptic feedback which is a new feature. Nonetheless, let me just go ahead and connect my uh, PS5 controller to my Android device and I'll be back. And I have just restarted the game, now it should successfully work so as you will be able to see my PS5 controller is working properly inside of the Winlater C mode and if we just go ahead and swipe back we also get gamepad configurator. So here you will be able to choose the buttons for which the task should be performed. You can create your own profile, save profile or load profile but I don't recommend you guys to mess around with it. Nonetheless the most useful feature of a Windows emulator is its performance. So let's find out how well does this emulator perform on my Android device which has Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and 16 GB of RAM. And here we go guys the game is about to start and we are getting almost 29 FPS while emulating Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game on my Android device. This hasn't been seen before guys because I'll be completely honest when I tested this game out on Winlater 8.0 I was getting anywhere from 5 to 10 FPS but as this uses a glipsy version the FPS which you'll be able to see is massively improved compared to the normal Winlater 8.0 and yeah the stuttering issues are still present in the game but to fix it you just gotta be patient wait until the shaders are compiled and then our game should continue once again. Now for some reason after the shader compilation as you will be able to see the entire graph turns to red for some reason. But when I tested this game out on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor it ran pretty amazing. So yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.